Hey guys, what's going on? Patrick Longley here from PatrickLongleyRealty.com, powered by EXP Realty. And today we're gonna go over the market update for Oahu, Hawaii in the real estate market for July of 2020. We are seeing some changes in the single family home and in the condo market. You're definitely gonna wanna stick around to get all the details so you can see what your next strategic move is when it comes to building your wealth through real estate. So stick around to get all the details. See you on the other side. What's going on guys? Patrick here from PatrickLongleyRealty.com powered by eXp Realty and today we're going to go over the real estate market stats for Oahu, Hawaii and what we're seeing happening in July of 2020. Now you may have seen some posts showing the prices have dropped significantly. Now there is some misconceptions to that similar to what we saw last month. Those posts that we see um, that you see some realtors posting saying hey prices are dropping, prices are dropping. That is compared to last year. And we're gonna demystify some of the things that we're seeing in the stats, what we're seeing prices doing from month to month end compared to last year of this time and what this really means for you as buyers or sellers. Okay guys, so we're gonna jump into it. We're gonna go over, as I mentioned, the Oahu real estate market update for July of 2020. We're gonna go over all the details. So let's jump onto my computer and I can kind of go over what we're seeing happening. Hey guys, so let's jump into the numbers. You may have seen on my Instagram or Facebook or on other real estate agents, they like to post these little postcards that basically give you a general specs of what's going on in the market, but there's more to dig into and that's what we're gonna do right now. So you may or may have not seen this. It is showing the prices are dropping um, but keep in mind this is compared to last year so as we can see here Oahu housing market activity trails 2019 levels but continues to slowly recover so we are starting to see a recover just like we saw in last month and we'll show you some of the charts we are starting to see an uptrend of homes prices increasing as well as inventory increasing and days on market decreasing and what that generally means is homes are selling fast and that's gonna slightly jack up the price of homes. More people are being able to borrow money near to nothing. We're at 30 years low for interest rates. So a lot of people are able to borrow money at a lower price, which allows them to buy more house. So let's dig into some of the numbers that demystifies all of these red drops down because really in retrospect for month over month end, we're actually starting to see an increase. So let's take a look at that. So like before, um, I like to read the executive summary. It really just kind of gets into the deep meat and potatoes of what actually that postcard means. And again, we wanna look at not just what it was happening from last year, because once again, we did have a pandemic that happened, but also what has happened in the last few months. Because if you're looking to buy a house, that's really important. Are home prices going up? Are they going down? Well, we're about to tell you right now and get very specific, even with the price points, condos, single family homes, all these different markets, because you might be in a different market than your neighbor, your friends, your family, and it's important to understand what's going on. So let's jump into it. So if we look at this uh, executive summary, we can see right off the bat, it does say the Oahu real estate market is experiencing increased incremental month over month gains in closed sales and new property listings. So we're seeing more properties closing, we're seeing more listings coming on the market, more inventory, but if you compare it through year over year activity, it remains down. And we'll go over into a little bit of what that means. So we are seeing if you compare it from last year of the same time, sales and prices are down. Um, but pent up demand, low mortgage rates, and low inventory continues to drive the market up. So because the Fed has dropped their interest rates, which has allowed all these lenders to lend money out at a very low interest rates, I've seen some of my VA buyers get anything 2.5, 2.9, which is stupid low. Um, they're able to buy homes and even conventional is able to get them at 3.1, 3.2, very, very low to borrow money. It's allowing buyers to actually get out there and spark the economy and put money in the economy and buy homes. But because people don't wanna list their homes because they don't want people coming through, inventory's been really low. Now we're starting to see it increase again, which is starting to balance the market out a bit more. And we are seeing a lot of movement happening. So. We can see in the next paragraph it's here, it does say, despite a 3% slip in sales for single family homes compared to last year, sales of single family homes, which is a different market than condos, has surpassed the average monthly sales of 2019 by 15% and marked up 19.5 increase compared to June. So we're seeing a 19% increase in single family homes monthly sales 
from last month. Not as significant. So we're seeing a quick recovery, guys. And sales of homes in the 700 to $900,000 range, which is the average buyer here for a single family home, is usually gonna be in that $700 to $1 million range, has seen an increase of 19.4%, so almost 20%. But homes in the 600 to 699, those are usually gonna be homes on the west side, Eva, Kapole, um, those have actually seen a 26.5% decrease in sales. So if you are looking to buy, especially for a lot of my VA buyers who are looking to buy and get those more newly constructed homes, not single walled, um, but looking to buy in the Eva, Kapole, or even on the west side, where you can find single family homes in that price range, we've seen a significant decrease in the price. So that's very important to know if you are in that market and if you're shopping in that area. So the demand for single family homes remain high with property spreading a near record low meeting of 13 days. That is really low. For you to put a home on the market and it sell in 13 days, that's extremely fast. And that tells me that the market is still really hot and homes are not sitting for very long as long as they're priced accordingly. So now moving into the condo market, we can see condo sales dropped 17% compared to last July. Okay, this is last year. But month over month sales activity continues an upward trajectory, just like single family homes, but by 36.5% increase in sales compared to June of 2020. So a 36% increase compared to last June, so just a month ago. So as we saw in the last report, we did see that condo sales were down last month. We are seeing a recovery, and we can see here that says overall there was a decline in sales volume for condos at most price ranges, except for condos in the 400 to 500 price range, which has marked a 20% uptick compared to this time last year. So interestingly enough, everything is down compared to last year, except for condos in this specific price range, 400 to 500, which is just you know about 100 grand below what you can purchase, usually buy a single family home for in those specific areas I discussed, Eva, Kapolei, Makakilo, West Side, things of that nature. And this is usually the price range of where condos usually are, 350 to 500, that's usually the happy spot. So we can see that there was an uptick there. Now let's go into inventory. New listings for single family homes and condos were down 18% for single family homes and 15% for condos. However, compared to last month, new listings for single family homes and condos are up. So once again, we are seeing not only recovery of the market when it comes to prices, we are seeing that inventory is starting to come up more. Sellers are feeling more comfortable with people coming through their homes. Open houses are now allowed as they weren't for a couple months there. We weren't even allowed to have open houses. So now we're able to kind of spark the economy, let people do open houses, people see homes. They're feeling more comfortable with the process and feeling comfortable with all of this pandemic stuff and buying homes in this market. So overall, we can see here, while the year over year median sales price of single family homes and condos for July dropped slightly, the year to date median sales price inched up 0.6% to 790,000 for single family homes and 1.2% for condos at 430. So once again, through all of this craziness, you even out and give that median average price of homes, we are still seeing appreciation go up um, and not down. And that's once again, really shows you that out here in Hawaii, the market is strong even through a crazy pandemic. And I am comfortable to say that it will recover even more in the coming months once all this stuff starts to slow down a bit, as we all hope. So now let's look into the numbers. I'm just gonna show you a couple of the trends we're seeing here. We're just gonna look at a couple charts because I've already spoken a lot about this stuff. But let's, let's, let's look at closed sales, okay? So things go into escrow and they actually close. Now back in, um, in March, in February, we saw that there was a big dip in how many were actually closing because certain people couldn't even get loans. The Fed came in and said, hey, let's help you out. Let's make sure that we can get you some money. That sparked it up again. And then we saw it drop significantly in May. And this is probably because we started to hear more about this second wave of the, uh, of the pandemic happening. But now we're seeing a recovery and everybody's able to buy homes. They're, they are able to qualify for more money. There's more, a little bit slight of in inventory coming up. So they're actually able to purchase homes. So we're seeing lots of more closed homes, which is great. We can see, you know, median sales price over the last uh, year. We can see here, this is, goes back to 2018. Very slight trend up. And what I really wanna show you is the median days on market. This really gives you an indicator of 
what's going on in the market. We can see a huge drop here. 26 days for, is that condos? 26 days for condos, 13 days for single family homes. And this is over, it has never been this low since 2000, 2018, it was 15 days uh, in August of 2018. So that really tells us that, hey, there's very low inventory and plenty of buyers really starting to say that, hey, we might be slipping into a seller's market um, if more inventory doesn't come on the market, but I do anticipate more inventory to come on the market in the next few months. And as you can see in this, new listings, which is new inventory, what are we seeing here? Well, in March and April, we saw a decline because of the pandemic, and we saw a huge decline here in April, and now we're just starting to see a recovery happening every single month as we move forward. So all in all, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Please, please, if you did like this information, smash that like button, subscribe if you want it directly to your inbox, and I would love to hear what you guys think is gonna happen in the next month or so in the Oahu real estate market. So put your comments down below and let me know your thoughts. You guys have a beautiful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.